So now, the reason why we got into part one the way that we did, was so that you really get your mindset straight and really understand what was going on and uh, the things that basically hinder us from being successful and a lot of things we need to change within ourselves in order to reach success. This is really important because they have created an emotion and energy for us to fail. And it's something we have deep in us that hinders us. And we have this doubt and disbelief to be able to do anything that encompasses real success. So we doubt ourselves fast when it seems like we can do something that's going to make a lot of money. It just seems like it's not going to be real. Something's going to mess it up. And it's just something that you can't do. It's something that's hard. We got to break free of that. You know, this is the problem that we feel this way and we think this way. And we think we can't reach and achieve a goal like other people are in this world because of, you know, what other, what other reasons. And it's a, it's a lot of reasons that we cast out on ourselves. And, you know, sometimes it's rightfully so based upon, you know, certain circumstances. The issue is what you have to understand, what you have to understand, really, is it's bullshit. It's bogus. And if you go out and you do what you're supposed to do and you work hard, you can get this money. They want you to feel like you can't. Business is business. Money talks. It's not as if they won't sell you stuff. The issue is you being able to put together the right plan, the right business model to create a situation where you can start generating money. And that's what we're going to get into here. Things you can do to really begin to make money and start out, you know, building up money because this is what you're going to need. Because right now, a lot of you work in jobs and you feel like, you know, it's really no way I can get out of this. You know, I got to work this nine to five. It's paying the rent putting food on the table, paying the bills. This is what I got to do. I don't have time to go get another job. I don't have time to really, you know, do something that's going to bring enough money to my life to change my life situation. A lot of people are just stuck and they don't really have an avenue, you know. And the thing is, it's other small things you can do to really start generating money. And it really begins with using the power of the Internet. And that's the main thing. That is the feature. Not just that using what these other corporations, these other businesses and companies use. And that is wholesale. That is bulk buying. And you will be surprised at what you can get for the right price. And the whole thing goes into what are you willing to sell? What are you willing to do? How hard are you willing to work? And, you know, a lot of people who I know have quit their jobs. A lot of people who um, really started out believing that they couldn't do anything major like I'm about to explain to you here are doing it now. And I, they're some of my friends. And what I'm going to get into you here, because this, this needs to be really understood, is that the things I'm going to show you in this DVD are real. This is something that you all can use and you all can do if you are creative enough. Now, the reason why I'm giving you this, these examples first is this is because this is something that's fast that you can do and you can get creative and you can really use the Internet or utilize any existing business that you have or any space you may have. Or even if you want to go and open a convenience store or something like that, this is something that you can do to do that. A lot of people don't understand, you know, that. You see these people that got convenience stores on the corner in our black neighborhoods. That's not hard to do. The Korean stores that sell all the cosmetics, not hard to do at all. It's just a matter of getting getting the space. And the thing is, you know, you can start out however you want to start out online or opening a storefront. But it's something that you can do to really start generating money and bringing money to your situation, starting on a small level. And then, you know, taking it from there, seeing uh, how it goes. Okay, so it won't be around the bush too much when I get right into this. So, one of the things I used to use, one of the first things I started getting into was Shopify. And Shopify has, you know, a, basically a, a system to where you can go ahead and make shirts and hats. But I started off small before I was um, really into YouTube. Uh, I think my first year I was uh, putting stuff on YouTube. I was selling shirts online. You know, just random T-shirts and just with, with random crazy stuff on it, selling them online, and it was selling well. It was doing good. I just, you know, uh, you know, caught fire fast, 
and you know it was doing real well and i ended up making pretty good money to where i was just like ah i'm cool i kind of took the money and ran i had other things i was doing other things i wanted to invest in so i stopped doing it and i'm going to get back in it on a larger level but this is one of the things you can use and you can go ahead and um set up an online store with them and you know just really promote your t-shirts and things like that if you're on facebook if you're on instagram you see a lot of people selling all kinds of t-shirts this is what they're using they're using a lot of these um these companies that are now you know gearing towards selling online and this is what you really have to be getting into right now if you really want to make that jump from you know nine to five working to really having something that along the lines of uh, online retail which is where the money is coming from big money we know a lot of people shop online youtube facebook facebook is huge instagram is huge right now i spend a lot of money advertising on both to sell products and you probably seen them and have no clue that it's me who are actually selling certain things but it's huge right now and a lot of people are missing out on money us missing out on a lot of money by not utilizing social media so you know one of the things that a lot of people don't understand as i talked about i have a contract with uh, dh gate you have companies like dh gate you have companies that do wholesale and basically what you can do you can go on these sites and you can purchase large amounts of clothing hats shoes whatever you want you can just specialize in selling baby clothes if you wanted to say you know what I want to start an online store. I only want to sell baby clothes, baby shoes, and stuff like that. You can go to these wholesale places and rack up. You can get hundreds of units, hundreds of items, all different sizes and everything like that for a set price. So you can get, you know, a unit, which they give it to you in like skids, we call them. But you'll have a whole unit of, you know, whatever you pick, whatever you choose and everything like that. That could be, you know, any, anywhere from 100 to like, you know, 600, 500 or what have you, you know, pieces, items that you're buying for pennies. So your resale is going to be crazy. So a lot of examples they have is where, you know, you can buy shirts and they're like a dollar. But you have to understand a lot of these shirts, when you pay attention to them, you have, you know, named shirts. You have shirts with um, uh, celebrity faces or, you know, uh, really popular themes cartoon characters and movie characters and stuff like that to where the licensing is already taken care of by these companies. So if you was to go ahead and take a, a, a t-shirt and you want to put Michael Myers or somebody's face and stuff like that on it and sell it, you would have to worry about licensing. You would have to worry about you know a bunch of legal issues uh, in doing uh, such a thing. And in some cases, you might meet fair use, but that's rare. And, um, you know, with celebrities, they, they typically let you put celebrity faces on clothes, but it's not too many people that want to buy that. But when you have things like, you know, like Marvel and stuff that's really making big money, it's going to be tough for you to go ahead and knock that off and have a legit business selling that, you know, versus selling on the corner where you can, you know, you can sell and basically get away. But you have a company like DHgate that takes care of all of that. You get your stuff from them and you can get, I mean, Star Wars, whatever, whatever you choose on a site like this and really put together a huge, you know, you know set or a, a catalog of what you are comfortable of, with selling. And it's multiple ways you can do this. You can either go ahead and build a website. When you go ahead and you start purchasing these clothes, you can see they show you the picture and you can use those shots for when you sell on your own website, save you a lot of time. But you can go ahead and design a website, you know, or have somebody design your website to where, I mean, once you catalog everything and organize everything to where you can sell directly from your website and it's fine. And you can either handle all the shipping yourself, which is like a full time thing, or you can go ahead and utilize companies like, you know, Amazon fulfillment, which is something I'll talk, talk about in a second. And I'll, I'll play a video from the commercial. Uh, it's huge, you know, and then you'll have the name Amazon attached to your business to where what they do is, and other companies do this as well, what you can do is, let's say you order these wholesale clothes from these Chinese companies or whatever companies you get them from, Italy has the same thing. And um, all you have to do is, instead of everything coming to you, you send it to these warehouses or you send it to Amazon Fulfillment and they take care of everything from there. Only thing you have to have is the platform to sell. 
You can also use or create a, a platform with Shopify, PayPal, and you know other um, uh, networks or other um, uh, systems that let you you know set up stores. Or you can create a, a WordPress site to where, or or Wix site to where you can um, basically start selling and setting up merchandise to sell. And what happens is you have like a, a, a IPN, an instant payment notification, to where once you have your shopping cart set up with uh, PayPal or whatever, I recommend PayPal, we're gonna get into that in a second, why? Once you have that set up with like PayPal or whoever you use, what happens is once a person goes to your site, you know, everything is automated, they order, what happens is that warehouse where you had everything delivered, all the clothes and everything, they will get an alert. They'll get an alert to straight to their system to where they'll see the whole order and they will go ahead and fulfill that order and ship it out to your customer, plain and simple. You have some people, you have some uh, places that do it for a monthly fee, like 20 something a month. Uh, some places do it for a monthly fee plus uh, a small percentage, like two to, two to five percent of the sales. And it's all different kinds of ways you can do that. This is a business that once you can, once you set it up, you can walk away from it and just let it do what it do. Plain and simple. So imagine you just, all you have to do is, let's say you go, you got, you know, two grand, and you spend two grand on a bunch of merchandise to where you set up the website. You got all this merchandise. And I'm telling you, two grand going to get you a lot, you know, because if you're getting 500, 600 units, two grand, I mean, you could probably get like, you know, a couple thousand units to where, I mean, even if you sell the shirts, let's say you get 1,000, let's be conservative, say you get 1,000 uh, items, shirts or what have you. But well, 1,000, I mean, if you sold them all, you sold, if, if, if it was all shirts, and you sold them for you sold them for fifteen dollars each. I mean, that's fifteen grand that you're gonna make right there. Fifteen grand off a two thousand dollar investment. This is the type of stuff I was doing for a long time, and that I'm still doing. And a lot of people are doing to bring in big money. I mean, that's big chunks of money, and you have to think about it. You know, it's going to sell until you run out of merchandise. So even if you think about it, two thousand to go ahead and start. And then 2000 to re-up again, or you can, you know, play more to re-up. I mean, you're still making over 10 grand. The profit is huge. And, you know, those are, that's chunks of money coming in. And you can sell it fast, or it could take a while, but you'll make that 2000 back real fast, depending on how you market and how you put things out there and understanding where to place your ads and how to use Facebook to basically target people who might be looking for your products. Now you can see what a company like, uh, DHgate exactly what they do. And you have other smaller uh, Chinese companies that have, that have been doing this for a long time. Anybody that uses Wish, it's an online site where they sell stuff real cheap. This is basically all they're doing. They have a website that got big and they promote it and spend so much money advertising. All they're doing is buying a wholesale, wholesale stuff. They made a website, they put stuff up there for sale for cheap, and they're just selling all kinds of random stuff. Any of you can do the same thing. And if you promote like they promote, everybody's going to know about your products. The problem with Wish was they was getting stuff from, you know, really, really cheap, cheap, cheap places. And the quality wasn't as good as companies like DHgate and other places that sell really good quality wholesale. And you'll be shocked at, you know, how good and the brands that they have, you know. So a lot of people, you know, have been doing this. It's not enough black people doing this. It's not enough people who know about it. What I'm telling you and showing you right here, you're not ever going to see nowhere else. Unless you understand about this business and understand what's going on here. You're just not going to see it. It's not really nobody putting out information to get you into this business. This is what these people are using and utilizing to build their wealth. And they're doing it so sneaky because we have this mindset that, you know, for some reason we can't get into these lanes. Like we don't even want to know. Okay, where are you getting your stuff from? Who's your manufacturer? Where, where are you buying whole stuff from? I mean, you have to really think about it. You know, why can't you do the same thing? You know, why, why is it that you go to these stores and you see them having all this merchandise come in and they sell to you? Why can't you do that exact same thing? People want to buy it anyway, so why not buy it from you? The thing is, we look at this stuff and we think about paperwork. It's too hard. You know, they're official. They got all this official stuff that you can never get. And you don't really, you know, set your mind to saying, you know, I can do this better than they doing it. You know, I could do this and people will buy from me because, you know, I'll make my shop or my store or my site way better than what they're doing. And it's not hard to do this stuff. And we got to start doing this. When I say we need to start really getting 
businesses together. This is the way to start. This is the way that a lot of you can really bring in a lot of extra money to where you're sitting back and money is coming in. And this is what I'm telling you, you can do and start setting up and seeing purchases being made real time. While you're sitting there eating your food, you're going to be making money. While you're taking a shower, you're going to be making money. Now, you also have companies like All Time Trading. And these people are geniuses, what they do. So they sell you bulk shipments, like big giant skids of just, you know, random merchandise. So you might get like 60 uh, cosmetic packages from L'Oreal, 80 from uh, Revlon and all other kinds of makeup uh, places where you can just buy a whole unit of about 500, like, you know, items for, you know, like pennies. So you can have you have a unit like here that's about 500 pieces, you know, for like six hundred and five dollars. You know, so you have 500 pieces and understand this 500 pieces are name brand makeup, lipstick, all kinds of cosmetics, 500 pieces for six hundred and five dollars. Now, if you sold each piece for just three dollars each, which a lot of them are worth way more than three dollars, then boom. There you go. You're making $1,500 right there. 